August 8th, the most powerful day to manifest. Hello, how is it going my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? I hope we're all getting our manifestations as we should be. If you are new here, my name is Erin and I am here to help you get your shit. Are we getting our shit? We better be getting our shit. I want to talk today about the Lionsgate portal. It is a portal that is open from July 26th to August 12th, but it's the strongest on August 8th. It's the 888 portal. Um, basically, it is an astrological event. It is a cosmic event where the stars, the star Sirius is in alignment with the sun. Um, the star Sirius is actually a lot bigger and brighter than the sun. And this event was discovered by the ancient Egyptians, which were very spiritual people. You know, they recognized the sun as masculine energy and Sirius as feminine energy. And basically we're saying that when masculine, feminine, masculine and feminine energy are in alignment, that is, you know, the recipe for creation. Creation is birth. It is life. It is the birth of our ideas, our desires. But more than it just being a really powerful time to manifest, this is just a heightened time for alignment and messages from our higher self. So it can just be a very revolutionary time. Um, telepathy can be a lot stronger. Very interesting. I was actually realizing this before I even realized the time that we were in. I was like, why is it every time I'm thinking about somebody, they're messaging me lately? It was just very heightened, so I thought it was very interesting. Um, so if you're experiencing that, it could be this, this specific time period that we're in. You may be experiencing more vivid dreams or just maybe a higher alignment or a higher knowing and feeling that you're on the right path to getting your desires. Basically, just really big insights from your higher self that you're doing everything correctly, you're doing everything properly, and you're going to get what you want, you're going to get what you're manifesting. Um, this is known as the most powerful day of the year. It happens yearly, August 8th. Uh, but it being 2024, if you also believe in numerology, 2024 is also 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. So this is a really, this is a big time right now if you subscribe to that idea. In the manifestation community, you might hear a lot about like portals and energies and vibrations and la di da di da di da What I tell you every time you click on a video is you are God, you're the creator, you're the highest source of energy there is, and you make the rules. I'm not really one, and I, if you've watched my videos, you see that. I'm not really one to be talking a lot on here about astrology and energies. And yes, all of this stuff, I mean, energy is real, obviously, but I don't think that you need the stars to align to manifest. We are conscious creators, we are source, and you are powerful every single day of the year. You are manifesting consciously or unconsciously whether you want to or not. But this is a fun time and I don't think that a little boost, a little energy boost ever hurt anybody. Think of it as light, think of it as fun as you should be with all of your manifestations. You should be approaching your conscious manifesting with a light, fun, vibe all the time. Every day is a strong day to manifest. Every day can be as powerful as Lionsgate if that's what you choose to believe. It's your world, it's your creation, it's the law of assumptions based on your assumptions. But in the law of assumption community, creation is the basis of it. But I do want to talk a little bit more about law of assumption and masculine, feminine, creation, that sort of thing. So basically, you have your conscious mind and you have your subconscious mind. You can read a lot about this. Um, Neville Goddard talks a lot about it, but basically the conscious mind is the masculine energy and your subconscious mind is the feminine energy. So when you have an idea, you have a reality that you want to manifest a desire. Um, that is your conscious mind or the male part of your mind then it relays a message to the subconscious or the femi female part of your mind. And that is how creation comes. That is how your idea is born. It is impregnated to the subconscious and then given birth by the subconscious, reflected in your 3D reality, male and female creation. And that is just how manifestation works. That is how the law works. That is why 
back in the Bible, it's telling you wives respect your husbands. The husband is the ruler. It's the con the conscious mind is the ruler of the subconscious. It was never meant to be taken as literally as it was written. But I mean, unfortunately, that's just that's just how it's gone. So in this time of creation and alignment with the stars, I mean, think about it. The tides are controlled by the way the moon goes and we're made of water so that's why our emotions are affected by the moon <laughs> we can get into all this stuff it, it doesn't matter it really doesn't i'm not gonna go down that that rabbit hole right now basically all i'm saying is we can use lion's gate and this powerful energy that's being vibrated highly in the universe at this moment we can use that to our advantage so what we want to do is we're going to want to really focus on the dream life that we want we're going let's i want i want to do like a little challenge for you guys let's even keep in tune with all the eights numerology and at eight o'clock i want you to do like a ritual i want you to start this little process really try and immerse yourself as much as possible in the dream life that you want to live you can visualize it if you would like if you can visualize really visualize if you can't visualize try, just maybe talk out loud affirmations to yourself talking about you know your dream life maybe do a small little vision board that shows exactly what you want to be experiencing and, and look at that and try and immerse yourself into that and feel as if it would be like to be living that life. Really meditate on what you want your life to look like within the coming year. All of your areas, not just one manifestation, think about what is your dream life because we're gonna really utilize this potent energy, creation energy right now. We're gonna use it to boost our manifestations. And then another part of the challenge is I want you to write it down. I want you to get out a pen and paper and write down as if it were next year and you're writing to your past self this is what my life looks like i am living here i am dating so and so i make this much money i'm so happy i'm so fulfilled look how much our life has changed if you're watching this in 2024 which is right now you're going to be writing this from 2025 to yourself in august 8 2024 and then if you want to even further this little challenge, do a little video of yourself. And I'm going to do this because I've been wanting to do this anyway, so I think I'm just going to do it today. Do a little video of yourself where you're asking your future self, so did you get that dream job that you want? So where are you living now? Are you living in your dream house? Um, so how much money are you making now? So did things work out with that guy or with that girl? And then we can, next year we can revisit this little video and we can respond and like our present self and like edit it together, super cute. It's just a fun way to hold ourselves accountable and really use this as a way to manifest our dream life in the next year. But for this challenge, we're just going to hold each other accountable, hold ourselves accountable and see what all we can do with this powerful day, how we can use this powerful day to our advantage. Yes, yeah, so that is all about Lionsgate. Like I said, you are the powerful creator, so you can decide if you want to use this to your advantage or not. Um, you give life, you give celestial events even all the meaning that they have in your world. Um, it is all your creation. You got this. You can do this any day of the year. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down low so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.